A very good afternoon from the Kingsway Regional Sporting Complex in the north of Perth. It is the sixth round of the FFA Cup in Western Australia and it is the quarterfinals of the State Cup. Plenty at stake today as Wanneroo City play host to Sorrento. Wanneroo City playing currently in the second division of the State League competition and Sorrento playing in the National Premier League's competition. So uh, if you can expect a giant killing performance today, it is on the cards, although in the competition we do have four teams, in fact, from the lower divisions taking on MPL sides as Coburn take on Dianella White Eagles today, the Western Knights take on Perth Soccer Club, and then tomorrow Bayswater City take on Gwalop Croatia. So there is plenty at stake for those teams as they come into this sixth round of the FFA Cup. Wanneroo City have never won the State Cup. Sorrento have won it on three occasions in 2011, 2012 and 2015. Take a look at the lineups for both the teams. Starting off in goal for Wanneroo City is Joey Smith. In defence, they've got Kai Douglas, Liam Mooney, Stuart Siddle, their captain, and Brett Cutting. In the midfield, Jack Hailstones, Matt Franken, Joel Gillespie, and then up front, Nathan Grostate, Miteko Ayani, and Scott Johnson. That may not be the actual formation, in fact. Uh, that is just the lineup of the teams. And then the substitutes for Wanneroo City, Flynn Nolan, Jesse Bridgman, Josh Chibble, John McNeil, and Jordan Bell. And we're going to have a minute's silence And a minute silence is for the Wanneroo City Vice President, Paul Thurgood, whose father unfortunately passed away in the past week, and Wanneroo will be wearing black armbands. As we turn our attention now to the Sorrento line, James Morgan will be in goal for them. Their captain today is Steve McDonald, certainly a veteran at 37 years of age. Sam Biles, Sean Kilkelly and Jacob Shaw will also be playing alongside McDonald in the defensive line. In the midfield for them, Brad McDonald, Tim Hill and Reese Vitilia. And then up front, Scott Bullock coming back to the ground. He started his footballing career here in Western Australia. And alongside him, Alex Morgan and Sean Cannum. And if we look at the substitutes bench for Sorrento, we have reserve goalkeeper Anthony Salpietro, Daryl Platten, who's normally their captain, Billy Quincroft, Josh Tucker, and Jordan Brown. So Wanneroo City about to take on Sorrento from the NPL. They got to this stage, Wanneroo. They beat Canning City 3-2 at home in the third round. They beat Southern Spirit 2-0 at home in the fourth round and in the fifth round they got a forfeit victory over Boulder City, Boulder City being out in the goldfields near Kalgoorlie whereas Sorrento in the fourth round beat Woodvale 10-0 at home and in the fifth round they beat UWA Nedlands 3-1 at home and that by all accounts was a very very close affair so maybe Wanneroo will take heart from that game by Michael Janssen's UWA Nedlands and hope that they can cause an upset or go where UWA Nedlands just failed in their last outing in the FFA Cup. So it will be Sorrento in the blue strip taking on Wanneroo City in the red and white. Crowd beginning to come into the stadium, which is good to see, and Wanneroo City making it free entry today. 
which is again a really good way to bring the crowds back into Western Australian football. They've been staying away for a while now, so it's really good to see people coming back into the game. Unfortunately, we do have people walking in front of the camera. Total unawareness. Obviously, never played football in his life. That gentleman, no peripheral vision. And we're underway. And immediately, Sorrento launch and long ball forward. Wanneroo City, who in the past were known for their British roots and also a very physical style of football, but under their current coaching staff of Tim Cantor and Brad Hayward they're looking to play more attractive football and get away from the reputations of old and it's good to see some of the Wanneroo past players and life members here such as Keith Sate, Mickey Quayle and Tom Hemsworth who was president of the club for a very long time this long ball played forward by Wanneroo but it's Steve McDonald who just plays it out now to Sam Biles. Biles lofting the ball forward. It's cleared initially. Brought down in the midfield by Wanneroo. Niteko Ayani was dispossessed or just passing it back. Stuart Siddle leaving the ball run and it's a little bit of pressure on Wanneroo at the moment but Siddle calm under pressure. Ayani. Again, it comes to Hyeni, playing it on the narrow side and helped along the side, but it comes off the feet of Sam Biles. The Wanneroo, you would think, just want to hang on to the ball for a while, just get that confidence against the team higher up the league and then again a good turn, and this time it comes off the feet of Alex Morgan. So another throw to Wanneroo City. Siddle goes down the line, headed into an almost danger area, and then played back to James Morgan with a good clearance up to halfway. Headed back and played out wide onto the left hand side of Scott Bullock. Scott Bullock, of course, who wore Perth Glory's colours under the coaching of Dave Mitchell, was given the chance to join the Glory previous to that and uh, turned it down because he had a career in the police force. And now he finds himself working for the fire brigade. So Scott Bullock, still with plenty of running in his legs. Sean Kilkelly, a man who's been around the State League for a while, laying the ball out onto the left-hand side and put under pressure was Brad McDonald. It was back to Steve McDonald, not related. McDonald drilling it forward, it ricochets away but Wanneroo clearing up at the back and played back by Hailstones to his keeper Joey Smith. Wanneroo currently sitting second on the ladder in Division 2. Just lost the one game against Kingsway Olympic just across the park and it's a good break into the penalty area. Can he get the shot away? He does but Morgan saves easily. And it was good play from Wanneroo. There was no support uh, Scott Johnston had a lot to do on his own and he managed to get the shot away. As I was saying, that Wanneroo currently second on the league. The only game they've lost was to Kingsway Olympic, their arch rivals, who are literally only about half a mile away. Not even that. And Joey Smith missed that game. Chance now. Joey Smith's off his line, comes across. It should be the opening goal, and it is. It is finished well at the back post by Alex Morgan. Really just had to bury it. No marking for Wanneroo at the back. And they pay a heavy price early in this match. Morgan unmarked at the back post. So it is Wanneroo City nil. Sorrento one and just four minutes gone on the clock. Uh, Joey Smith was covering the attack on the right-hand side of his goal and the ball was played across and you expect your defence to pick up the players at the back post and it wasn't happening. And so Morgan crept in and finished well. Uh, 
Alex Morgan, who was sick last week and didn't play between Subiaco. He's been uh, out of the game for a little while as well. But that is actually his fifth goal of the season. For Sorrento. Sorrento also currently sitting second on the league ladder at the moment in the NPL. Played 13, won seven, drawn four, lost two. Averaging three goals a game, just 2.9 goals a game. So got one of those already. Wanneroo City, though, have been unbeaten at home. So they'll be looking to maintain that record as the ball is cleared by Kilkelly. Just needs a spell of sustained pressure. And Wanneroo may well get themselves back in this match. Johnson still isolated up front, the only man in the area. The ball comes out to Jack Hailstones. Has he won a corner? Yes, the referee's assistant points to the corner flag. So this may be a chance for Wanneroo from the set piece. Scott Johnston taking up a position just in front of James Morgan inside the six-yard box. Ayeni has also taken up a position should the keeper drop it. Clip tad, it's a good header by McDonald and you'd expect that he is the tallest man on the pitch and now a chance for Sorrento to break forward. Switching play, it was a good pass coming from Reese Vitilia. A little bit of pace on it though, kept in play well by Tim Hill. Hill now gets the chance to steady, couldn't get past Siddle, so plays the ball back and Sorrento looked to build from deeper. Comes to Alex Morgan and it's been dispossessed in midfield, but Ayane just jumping out of a wild challenge coming then from Alex Morgan. Johnston looking to try and turn Kilkelly, lovely flick with the back of his heel. Still has possession, Kilkelly though still in front of him, no support from Wanneroo. Ayeni is the only player coming and Johnston plays it in, but McDonald under absolutely no pressure has time to clear it calmly. Comes out to Biles. And that was soft pass and the ball given away by Brad McDonald. And Wanneroo, if they can get bodies in the box, they could cause a few problems. Hailstones again looks to skip inside. It's pass then it ricochets back to him, so he can start again. Needed to be brought down, but wasn't, and cleared up by Tim Hill, who wins a foul for his efforts. Biles has pulled wide, and ball comes safely to Steve McDonald, and then comes to Biles. Well, McDonald managed to find Bullock. And he's given a lot of space for Scott Bullock to move around in on that left side. Just on the far side, the officials just making sure that all the Sorrento substitutes are sitting down. Everybody was on their feet. And these days, the officials are very strict on who's allowed to stand and who isn't. So it is another ball for Sorrento. Ambling across is Tim Hill. Free kick in a very dangerous spot. Big Steve McDonald making his way forward, running his fingers through his hair. How many times has he risen in the box to get a goal for Sorrento? Kept in play well at the back post and just headed wide. It was good work initially deep from Sean Cannon to keep the attack alive, just heading it across the goal. And I think had the header been on target, Joey Smith would have managed to collect with ease. And Smith with the goal kick, little stutter from him. Hits it flat to halfway, nodded down by Tim Hill. Bullock now for Sorrento, looking to get into a foot race. Comes across, and it goes straight into the arms of Smith, and he'll be relieved about that. I think it was Morgan again with the shot. 
In fact, it was Kenham. A really good chance for Sorrento to double their lead, but just getting the ball directly at the Wanneroo goalkeeper. And they are getting a little bit stretched at the moment, Wanneroo. Just needs someone to calm things down in the middle of the park. And plenty of talk coming from Joel Gillespie at the moment. I think he's trying to be the man to marshal the troops in the midfield. It is Gillespie plays it out wide, just left behind momentarily by Matt Franken. And then out of play, the ball goes. So it'll be a throw to Sorrento. Would like to thank the sponsors of this live stream, which is Surge Fitness, here to make a difference change lives and build better communities. Get your guest pass online at www.surgefitness.com.au. Another good ball out wide to Scott Bullock. Clips it to the penalty spot. There's two players there for Wanneroo. Neither got there, and Morgan was the man who got his head on it, but can't keep the ball in play, even trying to play it off the Wanneroo player. Just over 10 minutes gone, still 1-0 to Sorrento. Plenty of time for Wanneroo to come back in this match. Siddle looking to launch the ball forward. Again, there's nobody there. Johnston having to do the hard yards up front on his own. And now there's a good break coming forward through Franken. Franken into the penalty area. Manages to stay on his feet. Biles in close attendance. Franken has to play it back. Ayane lets it run. Gillespie clips it to the back post. First time, well, it was ambitious. And it skews off the boot and goes out of play for a goal kick. But promising signs from Franken breaking down the right-hand side. Matt Franken, it's his first year at Wanneroo City, previously with Florida Athena, and he was their Young Player of the Year in 2015. And now, plenty of space in which to play. The ball played back to the keeper by Liam Mooney. Joey Smith launches it forward. Good header from Jacob Shaw, but picked up in midfield by Nathan Groste. Nathan Grostad, whose father is Glenn, is coach of Florida Athena, who currently sit top of the National Premier Leagues at WA, just ahead of Sorrento at the moment. So it's another free kick to Wanneroo City. Grostad over the ball. Numbers coming forward, just coming it back to the back post is Kai Douglas. Got his hand up, he's got space. If they can find him, it's into the area, but Morgan claims with ease. Took up a good position, James Morgan, and dominated his box and then made it very easy for him to climb and grab that ball as he rolls it out now to Jacob Shaw. Shaw infield. Alex Morgan goes back to Steve McDonald. Steve McDonald's through ball was a good one looking for the run of Vitilia, but it just had a little bit too much pace, or maybe Vitilia was a little bit too slow to react. Morgan again getting between the passes of the Wanneroo midfield and defence and causing a few problems. Smith looking to spread the ball wide, keeping the ball in play, but getting there quickly was Brad McDonald. Gets back to Sean Kilkelly. Sean Kilkelly, who's been around the game for a while, but it's dispossessed and running forward again. It's a good break coming from Matt Franken. Franken again looks to cut inside. He keeps possession. Biles is snapping at his heels. McDonald managed to help out his fellow defender, and they force them back. Now it's with Grostate. Grostate just clipping the ball forward. Johnston, just a heavy touch from him. Shaw using his body, but Johnston got ahead of him. Johnston more intent on the ball. Kilkelly heads it to the edge of the area. Ayene. He's got a player wide, and he decides to use that player. I think it's Hailston's wide on the right-hand side for Wanneroo, but his cross is overcooked. It's going to just bounce out of play. 
for a goal kick. So promising signs from Wanneroo. Just can't get the final ball to find one of their teammates at the moment inside the penalty area. But Franken is causing problems. Sam Biles, who was with the Arsenal Academy. So Franken's doing well against a player with a really good pedigree. Nice flat goal kick again. Headed forward well and convincingly by cutting. Uh, the crowd really beginning to fill up here at the Kingsway Sporting Complex. Just a little bit of help now for Johnston further forward, but unable to bring it under control in Vitilia. Getting there and just happy to play it back to the keeper, although pressure going to be applied by Tim Hill. But Smith clears and Jacob Shaw got up high to win that and now it's with the pillars at the back for Sorrento, Kilkelly and McDonald. McDonald looking for the run of Scott Bullock out wide but it was never going to get there and Cutting got there first. He tried to nod it into the path of Jack Hailstones but just too much pace on the ball. We have had thunderstorms here today so the ball just skipping off the wet surface. Pleased to say it has brightened up just before the kickoff. And there's still plenty of activity on the far side on the bench with the fourth official not happy with where the Sorrento players were seated. Jamie Harnwell, their coach, wisely staying out of the debate. And the dummy, in fact, sold a N.A. short and it comes through and it's Scott Bullock. He lifts it over the crossbar. Well, Joey Smith came out and made it difficult. Bullock, though, hands to his face, feels he should have done better. Good opportunity for Sorrento to stretch their lead. Will that come back to haunt them? That's so often the case in cup football. This is the quarterfinals of the State Cup, sixth round of the FFA Cup. Four teams from the lower divisions in the quarterfinals playing against MPL sides this weekend. Can any of them go all the way and get into the final of the State Cup? A little bit of a shove from McDonough, not noticed by the referee. Kilkenny will now feed it to Steve McDonald. Steve McDonald, six foot seven, born in Glasgow, but most of his life spent in Australia and playing for Sorrento. Had a spell at the Western Knights, but soon returned to Sorrento, where he's always been happy. Really strong run through the midfield from Brad McDonald, and it took a really important challenge to curb that attack. Now it's Vitilia. Goes all the way back to his keeper. And Sorrento quite happy to drop deep in their defensive line and then draw McWanaroo forward and then just play it into the big space in the midfield. Short, just turning away from Hailstones. Johnston should get there first. Kilkenny, though, a little bit more desperate. In, in fact, got a ball he probably had no right to actually get. And now it is Johnston running onto the pass coming from Gillespie. Johnston again has Aene just at the top of the area. He tries to curl it with his left foot. Morgan doesn't even have to watch that. He knew it was sailing high and wide and was not going to be a problem. But there is a debate going on between the Sorrento goalkeeper and Sean Kilkelly. He's obviously not happy about something. Just wondering whether Wanneroo's tactic is that Johnston will make those runs and Aene will just sit on the semicircle and eventually the defence will drop back and he'll feed it to him and Miteku Aene will be able to fire a shot away. Aene getting a touch but good work by McDonald in the midfield for Sorrento. Cutting comes across, claims possession well. 
And the ricochet goes out. It'll be a throw in to Wanneroo. Just approaching the 20 minute mark of the first half. Still 1 0 to Sorrento. That goal coming in the fourth minute, scored by Alex Morgan, who wasn't picked up at the back post and just side footed across the goal into the goalkeeper's bottom right hand corner. Ricochet is going to go favourably for Johnston. He's done well to send Shaw the wrong way. Johnston clips it across. Again, he looks to curl it to the back post, but Franken was just a little bit too deep to get on the end of that. And you feel Wanneroo going to need a little bit of desperation inside the penalty area to get a goal from somewhere. So Morgan... His first game back was last weekend against Subiaco after his honeymoon with his wife, Kerry. Congratulations to them on their recent union. Good tackle coming in from Siddle. Stuart Siddle, who is the twin brother of Fraser Siddle, who currently plays in the NPL in Victoria. Former WA State Goalkeeper of the Year, Fraser Siddle. Clipped in by Morgan. Header by cutting clear. Franken just puts it up the side out of danger. Johnston was going inside of McDonald, hoping he'd play back to Kilkelly. He didn't, and it was a long ball over the top. Good run coming from Sean Cannon, but just had a little bit too much air on it and bounced all the way through and out of play. Joey Smith, though, the goalkeeper for Wanneroo, not happy with his defence, feeling that they were just caught a little bit flat-footed. So almost halfway through the first half. Ross State looking to feed Aene. That looked to be a foul in the back coming from Tim Hill, and the referee agrees with me. It's been actually a fairly good game so far with very few niggly little fouls and haven't even noticed the referee, so that's always good. And Johnston getting shoved inside the penalty area. Well, McDonald needs to keep his arms down. Up well, and it was a good header into the danger area from Kai Douglas. Still alive inside the box as it's just cleared to Ayeni. Vitilia gets a touch and just took it away, so Ayeni has his back to goal. Goes to Grostate now. And Wanneroo going backwards at the moment. It's played out wide. Siddle has to slide in. He gets to the ball, but he's dispossessed well by Alex Morgan. Morgan breaking forward. Good tackle from Frankie, but Morgan still has the ball for Sorrento. Now it's Hill. Plenty of bodies forward for Sorrento. Hill clipping it out to the left-hand flank to Jacob Shaw. Shaw just showing too much of the ball, and Grostate getting there ahead of him, but the whistle has gone. I think it was for just for a push in the back from Shaw on Grostate. Or maybe the linesman's flag has gone up. I think actually maybe a throw in. So it is in fact a throw in to Wanneroo. And they've stolen a good five or six metres. So McDonald again on the ball, always looking for options when he receives it. Flip forward once more by Tim Hill, add on to the left. Scott Bullock in a very strong tackle with Brett Cutting. Shaw with the throw. Good turn coming from Sean Cannon. It's just taken away, but now it's Vitilia top of the area. Great tackle by Franken, ricocheting all over the place, but Joey Smith will be able to pick up and clean up at the back for Wanneroo City. But what a challenge that was from Franken coming back just as Vitilia was about to unleash his shot. Again, it's nodded on by Hailstones, and in fact, it came off Jacob Short, so it will be a one rue ball. So plenty of numbers defensively for Wanneroo. They need to get a few more bodies forward. Ball clipped across, it's a good ball, but again, there's only Johnston there. 
and he was at the near post and it went over his head straight into the arms of James Morgan. McDonald clips it forward again. Good header by Cutting, but ball drops for Canham. He plays it out wide to Shaw. Shaw's first time passes to Bullock. Bullock gets a good ricochet, clips a ball in, and it's headed clear by Siddle. Grostate helps it forward. Ienic off his chest, brings it down. That's what you need to see. Midfielders bringing the ball down and keeping it on the deck. He was looking for Johnston, but Shaw came back quickly. There was space when that ball was played, but Shaw put in the hard yards to get back. And there's Sorrento just slow the pace back down to what they want. Over the top and a good run through the middle from Hill. Hill's going to get a shot. No, he's not going to get a shot away. It was good defensive play coming in from Grostate. Cross it comes, the head is there, it's going to ricochet to Morgan. Morgan clips it back across the area, headed to the edge of the penalty box, and Vitilia loses out. It was actually Kai Douglas with a good challenge inside the box, and now it's Johnston. He only has one player in support, and that is Hailstones, and it's going to go out of play. And Shaw, under no pressure whatsoever, concedes a throw in close to the corner flag. And Wanneroo. Uh, very slow to get players forward to take it. Oh, they were under pressure there. It looked as if Sorrento was certain to get a second goal. Cutting goes back to Hailstones. Ricochets up into the air. A little bit of a push in the back coming from Brett Cutting, but not spotted by the referee. Over the top it comes. There's definite push in the back that time coming from Liam Mooney. Again, the referee playing a good advantage, although the ball is now with Wanneroo. Cannon may disagree with that comment, as he was the man who was pushed in the back. And Johnston just bought this time by Kilkelly. So there's a few little challenges going in now. This game getting a little bit of an edge to it. Still just 1 0. 27 minutes click past, almost at the half hour mark. And a free kick won by Ayane. Looking for the run of Franklin. I'm not sure he'll get there, and it will go out for a throw in just by the corner flag. So Franklin trying to now stop the ball being thrown to McDonald. Grostate comes forward to limit the pass to Alex Morgan. Wanneroo trying to box Sorrento in. Thrown straight to Grostate, didn't bring it under control, should have probably just kept that under control and then played the pass rather than trying to play it first time. Although had it come off first time, we'd all be singing his praises. Ayenek. Siddle just clipping it over the top, but just too much weight on his pass. Uh, good to see so many people turning up here at the Kingsway Regional Sporting Complex for this match. And again, we must thank our sponsor for this live stream, Surge Fitness, here to make a difference, change lives and build better communities. Get your guest pass online at surgefitness.com.au. Three clubs in Perth, CBD, Clarkson and Wanneroo. And if you're at a loss as to where to come and watch the FA Cup final next weekend. You can come down to Wanneroo Club Rooms. I think they have got an event on. It's $50 per table and five to eight people per table. Should be a good night. Wanneroo, who, of course, for a spell were known as Wanneroo British, amongst the many other names they've had over the years. Defensive header coming in from Liam Mooney, but it's not cleared. Now it's Vitilia with space in the midfield. Ayene comes back, but Vitilia just pulled away. Hill couldn't bring it under control. The clearance is not a good one, and it'll fall to Biles. Clips it in, headed to the top of the area. Vitilia wins that header, clipped in, and Smith had a hurry. Just bounce wide. Now Wanneroo survive another scare. Smith having to scurry, having a bit of a chat with the fans behind his goal as well. Oh, and that's a clear push, but how the referee didn't see that. 
arm extended from McDonald into the back of Johnston and the referee just palms to the heavens as if he didn't see it. And now it's Sorrento on the attack. Comes out wide to Jacob Shaw. Shaw looks up, clips it to the back post. Alex Morgan is there, heads it towards goal and a good leap coming from Joey Smith, claims it. But Wanaroot may have felt very aggrieved if that had resulted in a goal because there was a clear foul on halfway. Can Wanaroot find a goal before half time? Johnston out wide. Loses possession to Kilkelly. And a strong challenge coming in from Hailstones. Plays it all the way back to his goalkeeper, Joey Smith. So Wanneroo desperately trying to play some attractive football under Tim Cantor, the new coach for 2017. And so far... They've not lumped it forward. They've tried to play through the midfield. Stuart Siddle, good header, gets it to Franken. Franken looked to just play it down the line. I think he was hoping that Ayane would make his run or continue his run, and he didn't. He just sat in the position that he was holding in the midfield. So now Sorrento playing out onto the left, looking to try and feed Scott Bullock, but that was closed down well. So now it's... Steve McDonald, Ayeni looks to close him down, put pressure on him, short pass to Hill. Hill to Brad McDonald. Grostate comes across and Sorrento play laterally. Now it's Scott Bullock. Good strong challenges coming in. Skipping away from the challenge, it comes out now to Biles. Alex Morgan will help it forward to Biles. Biles has got a bit of space away from Frankie, clips it across, great first time effort at the front post coming from Reese Fertilia but just couldn't hit the target and that was great play down the right hand side between Alex Morgan and Sam Biles and a good run to the near post by Vitilia. just under 15 minutes remaining in the first half Wanneroo City desperately trying to hang on and get an equaliser from somewhere. Sorrento are creating the better opportunities. But they've yet to add to that first goal scored in the fourth minute by Alex Morgan. His fifth goal of the season. Sorrento coming forward again. Pulling away from the defender, it was played in. Good header clear from Kai Douglas. Ayene skipping away, feeds Grostate. Grostate looking for Johnston. Kilkelly's foot got there first, but it went straight to Grostate. Douglas, he's going to be forced to go back. There's good pressure applied by Tim Hill. Joey Smith was going to hit it first time, thought better of it. He's now clipped it forward. Grostate brings it under control. Under pressure from Vitilia. Vitilia wins the ball for Sorrento. Vitilia up to the edge of the penalty area. And a strong challenge from Stuart Siddle. And it ricochets to Hailstones, who plays it off the legs of Sean Cannon. But it stays in play. And Jacob Short looks to launch something. And Vitilia goes to ground under a strong challenge from Liam Mooney. May well result in a card. Mooney's being called across it was a fairly strong challenge but and the referee I think mean, quite sensibly has actually just said calm things down or did he actually issue a yellow card then I don't think he did no he hasn't it's just he's got a yellow whistle in his hand and so when he raised that for a split second I thought it was a yellow card but this is dangerous now for Wanneroo City Sorrento will look to curl the ball into the penalty area. And this is the time you must put in the challenges. Plenty of tall timber for Sorrento lurking inside the penalty area. Shaw dancing like a boxer. Makes his way forward. It's clipped low, though. 
Wasn't the greatest delivery into the penalty area, but it's still alive as it comes to Biles. He plays it out wide now to McDonald. McDonald, short little pass infield to Bullock. Didn't find it, but Petillia cleans up, clips it across the area. Hailstone's got his foot there. It's not cleared yet by Wanneru. In fact, it's half cleared. Hill again will pick up for Sorrento and look to mount another attack for the men in blue. And that's a strong challenge by Ayeni. And this time there is a card issued. So, strong challenge coming in. Just probably more ill-timed than anything. The challenge coming in on Alex Morgan. Uh, Sorrento will look to clip this ball forward again. Brad McDonald over the ball. Wanneru with a high defensive line at the edge of the penalty area. McDonald lurking. Line stands tall at the moment. Two players go up ahead of McDonald and then over the shoulder it goes from Johnston. Out of play. That was well defended by Wanneru. Double teaming Steve McDonald. Scott Bullock having switched sides. Good strength shown by Vitilia. And a super pass played out wide from Brad McDonald to the back post. And Smith claimed there was nobody there, but he had to be short. Stuart Siddle just giving him the shout just as he leapt into the air. Joey Smith, who had an outstanding game against Wallop. And here's a great chance now for Wanneroo. Shot comes in just past the post from Jack Hailstones. Wow, what a goal that would have been. A goal out of pretty much nothing for Wanneroo. But it shows that there is life in Wanneroo. And they may well get something out of this game yet. Jack Hailstones with a really good acceleration of pace. And a good shot that just went past the far post. Jack Hailstone, who also had a spell with Florida Athena. It's his first season at the club. Hails from Scotland originally. Ayenek, just have to be a little bit careful. Now it's Hailstone's plays it forward into the path of Johnston. Kilkelly's in ahead of him. Johnston into the penalty area. He goes, just left the ball behind, looks to lay it across, but coming back to do the defensive work was Brad McDonald. His pass is a good one to pick out Alex Morgan. Jacob Short didn't really have to play that quite as early as he did, but he found Vitilia. And then first time was looking for the run of Scott Bullock. It was Morgan. And now it's Franken. He's been kept quiet ever since those few blistering runs in the opening 20 minutes of the match. Cuts infield. Biles gets there ahead of him. Good anticipation by the Sorrento defender. And it's Kanamu tried to play it to Bullock, but this was a little bit slow. Kanamu was called a veteran in one of the reports when Sorrento played Sydney FC, and apparently was very upset by that comment. Just 31 years of age when that game took place. Certainly he is a spring chicken compared to Steve McDonald on the ball there, who's 37. Now, offside was the call from the referee's assistant. Fast approaching the final five minutes of the first half. Can Wanneroo find an equaliser? Joey Smith looking to get on with it quickly. He was looking for a run. Wasn't one coming. Hailstones is out wide, but easily met by Jacob Short. Ayene wanted Franken to go outside, and he came inside. And a miscommunication, and Franken going, just play it to my feet. Mituke Ayene is an interesting character for Wanneroo, and the ball may come to him yet. Now 
carried forward and it's clipped wide to Biles in acres of space, brings it down. Finds Bullock. Bullock right hugging the right hand touchline. And a good header coming. It's looping over. It's just gone over the crossbar. Oh, Joey Smith had to just make sure because I think he thought it might just dip under the bar. A well positioned header from Sean Cannon. Just testing the Wanneroo keeper who's still trying to get his troops organised. Sean Cannon, who played under Sven Joran Eriksson at Notts County. So he's an experienced campaigner. Oh dear, that's not the best goal kick you'll see. Comes to Canham. Canham under close attention from Cutting. And it now goes out wide. Sorrento pushing numbers up through the middle. Shot comes in low. Smith, good hands. Bringing it under control and denying Alex Morgan a second goal in the first half. We are in the final five minutes, and again, it's a poor kick from Smith. Mind you, we should say that Smith had a bad ankle injury in the game against Gwalop Croatia. That's why he missed the game against Kingsway Olympics. So maybe just struggling a little bit. He hasn't maybe got the strength that he would desire. And under this wet surface, it's just slipping a little bit as he goes to kick. Sorrento looked to transition the ball along the back line. McDonald drills it forward. Played first time, Ayane manages to get away from Hill. Hill, though, still snapping and trying to get the ball away from him. Hailstones gets the better. Shaw was caught by Shaw. And, well, that was actually quite a late challenge. And Hailstones, not surprised. I think he just got caught on the inner thigh as he'd played the ball past him. Don't think a card is warranted, but the referee sensibly going to have a word with Jacob Shaw. Just an ill-timed tackle more than anything. And the referee probably just saying, just watch those if you can. So is this the moment where Wanneroo can find a goal just before halftime? They've thrown the bodies forward. Johnston is a handful. He's offside at the moment, so he's going to have to get back onside. But there's no panic because Grostate has not even placed the ball where the referee wanted it. He has now. And Johnston comes back onside. Liam Mooney is up there as well. Goes to the back post and it goes all the way out of play. And that's a waste of a free kick. There was no curl on it whatsoever. Just sailed directly out of play. And those are coach killers when you're trying to get back into a game. Just need a little bit more finesse. And no doubt Morgan is aware that the first half is very close to coming to an end. He's just taking his time, James Morgan. Ball comes out towards the sideline and it comes off Frank in last good jump from Biles beaten comprehensively in the height stakes by Franken but got just as high Bullock fast feet from Scott Bullock just skips away leaves Franken in his way gets some help from Hill now it's McDonald Brad McDonald Hailstones looking to thwart that attack he's done well just closed down short and now it's Wanneroo comes out to Grostate again Franken didn't get the ball exactly where he wanted it but just had to check his run Stuart Siddle with Bullock in attendance plays it off Bullock and in fact the referee's assistant says Siddle got the last touch he doesn't agree it's very rare that a defender does Help forward to Vitilia by Canham. Vitilia just pulls away from Grostate, clips the ball in. It was a good header coming from Liam Mooney. Just had to get something on it because lurking behind him was Alex Morgan. It's one of those where you can just deflect it up and away from goal. Doesn't really matter where it goes. 
as long as you get that contact Morgan flicks it on and again it's Mooney there this time it goes safely into the arms of Joey Smith Smith's kick is not the most accurate in Johnston and it was really well read by Steve McDonald just letting it run through to his keeper we're in the final minute of the first half the skies are getting grey once more there's still hope though for Wanneroo City going in at 1-0 at half time they have hope on their side you do feel Sorrento are going to need to find a second goal from somewhere just to ease their nerves it's back with James Morgan and the whistle goes and that is the end of the first half and it's been fairly even Stephen in the middle of the park but most of the attacking football coming from Sorrento as you would expect they are the NPL side and it was the NPL side Sorrento that took the lead in the fourth minute courtesy of a goal from Alex Morgan so we go into half time with a scoreline that reads Wanneroo City nil Sorrento one
players making their way back out and sad to say the rain is falling here at the Kingsway Regional Sporting Complex, home of Wanneroo City. It's been interesting listening to some of the talk around us as we bring you this live stream, courtesy of Surge Fitness, here to make a difference, change lives and build better communities. Get your guest pass online at www.surgefitness.com.au. Three clubs in Perth, CBD, Clarkson and Wanneroo. I'm Ashley Morrison, looking forward to bringing you the second half. Our Wanneroo now going to lift the tempo. They played with one up front in the first half, and there's where a lot of the fans are a little bit critical, but they've obviously come out into this sixth round of the FFA Cup with a plan in mind. Tim Cantor, their coach, and Brad Hayward, the assistant coach, know what they want their players to do and Tim Cantor just talking to his captain Glenn Gross, or not Glenn Gross, sorry Nathan Grostate as they cross the pitch, he's still deep in conversation with him as he makes his way out to the bench, one thing I'm sure he'll be saying is if you're going to take the free kicks make sure the delivery is spot on because Wanneroo wasted a few free kicks in that first half gone into good positions but then the delivery was just not good enough. Joey Smith is shouting instructions to the players in front as well. Sorrento, you feel, may need another goal just to seal out this game. Because if Wanneroo do come out firing in the second half and really take it to their NPL opponents, they could make a real game of it. Referee just checking his watches, whistle goes, and we're off in the second half. Played forward and hailstones. Well, who knows, we could actually have hail here soon. And Wanneroo really do need to apply some pressure, and you just feel the one up front, as hard as Scott Johnston has worked, he's going to really find it hard to unlock a defence with such experience as Stephen McDonald and Sean Kilkelly. Short and sliding across, not letting that go anywhere. Here's Jack Hailstones. Mind you, the rain can cause the odd mistake. The ball can just slip, and good challenge again from Hailstones. And free kick goes his way. Scott Bullock, the offender. And they're going to leave the free kick for the goalkeeper. He's jogging forward is the big figure of Brett Cutting. Smith looking for the runner, Hailstones. It's nodded forward to Bullock. Cutting puts him under pressure immediately. Shaw clipping the ball forward. Managed to get it all the way forward. Now Vitilia receiving the pass from Canham. Just held up and that will be a foul going against Liam Mooney. And he skipped out of one challenge that came in. That was from Joel Gillespie, and then it was nailed by Mooney. Sorrento took the lead in the fourth minute of this match. Alex Morgan unmarked at the back post, just side footing home across the goal into Wanneroo's bottom right hand corner. So now Sorrento with a good chance to double their lead. Tim Hill. Delivery is good to the back post. Good jump, though, coming from Kai Douglas. Still alive with Jacob Shaw. It's clipped back in. McDonald misses it, nodded on, and a free kick. And Steve McDonald is the player that picks up the yellow card for the challenge that he put in on Stuart Siddle. Talking to from the referee. So we've only had one yellow card before this. And that was to Miteku Ayenek. Steve McDonald still can't believe the decision. And always a worry when a defender picks up a card, and especially in conditions like this. Steve McDonald wearing the captain's armband for Sorrento today. 
Of course, he had a spell in Singapore and also played for Scottish side Motherwell. Made one appearance in the Scottish Premier League. But he will not want to make a mistake today. But could see Sorrento forced into extra time. It goes into extra time if it's one all at full time. Biles plays the ball back. Morgan has to hurry a little bit. Morgan's under pressure from Johnston. Well, Johnston put his foot in. I think Johnston's going to get booked. Well, if he gets booked, that to me is a little bit harsh because he was trying to play the ball, but referee obviously deems it's dangerous. No complaints from Scott Johnston. Scott Johnston, who had some football with Balcatta and then was part of the US college system. This is his second spell at Wanneroo. Played for them in 2012 and has come back in 2016. Well, certainly putting his body on the line. The rain continues to fall. Wanneroo are looking for sponsors at the moment and if you would like to become a major sponsor of the club you can go to their website. It is theroos.com.au. Anyone interested? It's incredible to believe that three years ago this club was almost bankrupt and then through strong work by a strong committee they've managed to turn things around and are really a club on the rise now as Canham just lays the ball off. It's clipped in. Good header coming from Kai Douglas. Ayene used to be strong but that's a wasted ball given straight back to Sorrento. And there's a player down behind plate. Just wonder if that wasn't, in fact, Kai Douglas, whether he just fell or, in fact, now he's got a blow to the head. So maybe it was when he was making that headed clearance, he just got caught. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Physio has come on to... See how things are going. As we mentioned, Wanneroo will be having an FA Cup night here at their club rooms next Saturday evening. If anybody is interested, it is $50 for tables of five or eight. And at the same time, uh, Sorrento are actually having a function as well. On the 27th, they've got the Sands of Seoul. So if you like your Motown, you can get up to Percy Doyle and enjoy an event there. So it was indeed Kai Douglas who makes his way off, just still rubbing his head as he goes. Referee quite right to stop the ball with a head injury. Stop the play, rather. Gross State will just kick the ball back to Morgan. Morgan fires it out, and it was well left. Help forward now, Biles with a lot of pace. And he's just thwarted by Gillespie. And Gillespie lets the ball run out of play. He just needs a spark from someone for Wanneroo City to just get back into this game. They're still in it at 1-0. They just need a slice of fortune, a little bit of magic from one of their players as McDonald wins the ball. It's headed back with interest, though, from Brett Cutting. Ayene. And we've got another play down for Wanneroo in the middle of the park. Must admit, I was following the path of the ball, so didn't actually see what happened there. So the physio getting through a pretty tough work routine now. And this time it is, in fact, Scott Johnston who's down and his legs look a little bit wobbly there. Hopefully they're doing a concussion test. Conversation going on between the captain, Nathan Grustate, and the referee. 
Scott Johnston looking very groggy on the far side of the pitch. And Sporting Leap, Sorrento returned the compliment. So Monaru have to build from the back again. Johnston still not back in play. Comes back to Smith. He's under pressure. Sliding in. Trying to turn is Scott Bullock. Cutting though. Arms all over Bullock. And that's what Bullock was complaining about. Now trying to get forward for Wanneroo as Hailstones again. Just losing out though. Kill Kelly to Hill. Hill looking at options. No one closing him down. Clips the ball forward looking for the run of Shaw. But there was too much pace on that pass. And it just skidded off the wet surface over the sideline. Pleased to say we will be streaming the final sixth round match here in Western Australia tomorrow between Bayswater City and Gwalup, Croatia. Three games being played today. That is Coburn from the NPL against Dianella White Eagles from Division 1. The Western Knights from Division 1 taking on Perth Soccer Club. It's got Bullock going in. But again, it's going to be hard to get the better of Brett Cuttings. Big frame. It's been a scrappy 10 minutes or so at the start of this second half. Vitilia got a bump in the back. The ball comes to him from Shaw. Strong challenge coming in, but he gets the better of Gillespie. Good pass, looking to return it back to Vitilia, but was unable to do so was Canham. But it's won back well by Brad McDonald and now Sorrento play it out on to the right hand side Biles closed down well by Franken has to go back to Steve McDonald Phil Kelly eyeing up the options before the ball came to him there was nothing really forward for him so into the midfield he goes to Hill short pass back to McDonald and that's a lovely little touch and then clipped in by Biles well Canham if he'd have got a stronger touch, may well have had Joey Smith scurrying, but just the slightest of touches, it skimmed off his boot. Sorrento throwing. Good to see that Scott Johnston is back on the pitch for Wanneroo. Doesn't look to be moving too badly either. Biles just tucking in the midfield. Biles with a good run forward. Receiving the ball from Alex Morgan. And everyone stopped inside the Wanneroo defence. And Canham, well, he thought there was a goal on a plate. I'm not quite sure why everybody stopped in red and white. And in the end, it was a crucial last-ditch tackle just to block the cross. So corner to Sorrento. Is this where they will stretch their lead? Scott Bullock. The man to curl the ball in. Smith has a player in front of him. Diving header comes from Canham. It's bouncing around. It's not been gathered. And eventually Smith gets it. Unfortunately, someone walking right in front of me as that was happening. So Wanneroo City survive again. At the moment, though, they are hemmed inside their own half. Morgan, short little pass to Bars. Morgan drops back as an option, gets the ball back. Now it's McDonald. McDonald plays it out wide to Shaw in space on the left-hand side. He's closed down quickly. Bullock now looking to whip an early ball. It's a good ball. Joey Smith comes, punches under pressure. Grostate heads it backwards, particularly at the top of the area. Nodded back on. Canham can't get on the end. And Wanneroo almost clear it. It's still alive, though. Played forward by Alex Morgan. Biles clips it first time towards the penalty spot. Will come away. Hailstones has time, but just spins and fires it forward. And it goes straight back to Sorrento. Grostate looks to close down Bullock. And they both take a tumble. And it's going to be interesting to see which way the referee goes. I think he's given the foul against Sorrento. Smiles from Grostate as he gets back on his feet. So a good spell of pressure from Sorrento. 
but they've still been unable to get a second goal. And it's only going to take a split second if Wanneroo get that opportunity. Can they finish it off? We saw a thrilling game here before this one. Morley Windmills taking on Balcata. Morley Windmills managed to get it back to three apiece. And then there was a penalty, which is, I think, the best way to describe it is contentious. As Balcata ended up winning 4-3 in the Reserves Cup. Morgan, the scorer of the opening goal. Good pass from him. Biles, can he keep it in play? Yes, he can. Clips it to the back post and on the volley. Bullock is off target. Scott Bullock, though, frustrated, but what an attempt that was by the former Perth Glory player. Started his footballing journey here at Wanneroo City, so it'd be a really special place for him to score. Sure, he would have mixed feelings. Had a spell in Melbourne, playing for Dandenong Thunder as well. Scott Bullock, keeping himself very fit. Also played for Bentley Cannons in Melbourne. Johnston brings the ball onto his chest. He's surrounded by McDonald, and he was also Hill. Now it's Ayene. Ayene clipping the ball over the top. McDonald, I think, saw it late. Sorry, McDonald didn't see it late. It was actually... Johnston, who saw it late, and then there was a wild challenge coming in from Biles. And I think the Wanneroo players feeling, well, we've picked up a yellow card just now. How come that wasn't a yellow card? But it's better to focus on the game itself. Now it's going to be a key delivery again. Can Grostate deliver? Tim Cantor, the coach, is shouting instructions from the side. And there's no doubt this is something they've been talking about at halftime. It's clipped lower towards the front poach. It's Alice Morgan. Ayene plays it in. Ricochets out. Ayene plays it forward again. Handball! And unbelievably, the referee has not seen that, but it was a clear handball of Steve McDonald. Unbelievable. Wanneroo City will be very upset about that. But that's how a game can turn. They've been under the cosh, and if that had gone their way, it could have so easily been one all. Well, you wonder if the referee didn't see it, how his assistant didn't. But he didn't. It's now history. As Biles clears, Wanneroo keep applying the pressure. Ayene lays it back. Grostate clipping it forward. Good header. Again, just clearing the danger. A little bit of a push from Alex Morgan. Strong position from the body of Canham, but he's lost out in the end. Wanneroo looking to go forward. There's another foul, so it's another free kick to Wanneroo. Is this the moment they'll get an equaliser? Obviously, there is a conversation still going on about the claims for a penalty and being spoken to a Kai Douglas and Nathan Grostate. I think the referee is saying, I couldn't see it, my assistant didn't see it, and so it wasn't given. Well, when they watch this back, they will see that it clearly was a handball. So the two short men are in the wall for Sorrento, Brad McDonald and Sam Biles. Again, it's clipped to the back post, climbing high, is it? The post has gone in! Stuart Siddall gets the goal, although the whistle has gone for a foul, believe it or not, a push in the back of the defender. Wow, wow, wow. It is not happening for Wanneroo. And the big crowd here are not happy. So they thought they'd got an equaliser. It's been rubbed out for a push in the back. Have to see that one again. Well, Siddle was the man who got the header at the back post. It went in off the post. And now it's Sorrento on the attack. Bullock plays it early. On the turn, Vitilio, and it's gone in. Joey Smith pushed it into the crossbar, but it goes in. And Wanneroo, after having a penalty denied and a goal denied, now find themselves 2-0 down against Sorrento. How cruel can the game be? A good spell of pressure came to naught. And then straight away, up the other end, 
Scott Bullock's early pass, finding Reese Vitilia. Good skill shown by the former Perth Glory youth player. And on the turn, Smith could only push it into the crossbar, but it went in underneath the bar and into the goal. And not surprisingly, on the far side, Tim Cantor, the coach, is having a fairly animated discussion with the referee. Well, coaches must hate moments like that. They thought they'd got an equaliser, and literally within a minute, they find themselves now 2-0 down, and the game has been turned upside down. As a change being rung, and it will be Nathan Grostate who's gone off for Wanneroo. Just trying to see the player that's come on for them. We'll let you know as soon as he turns around. Well, oh, this will be a real test of Wanneroo's character. It is Josh Chivel who is the player that has come on. Kilkelly just belts it forward. Safety first. Scott Bullock, the creator of the goal, finds Vitilia, the scorer of the goal that gives Sorrento a 2-0 lead. Vitilia goes into the penalty area and then he goes to side foot it, but he's not going to beat Joey Smith at his near post with a side foot shot like that. Johnston climbed well. McDonald and Ayene go into battle. Jacob Shaw goes back to McDonald. Ayene battling hard. It's been won now by Hailstones. Hailstones feeds Johnston. Johnston looking to shape and shoot, but McDonald got back well. In fact, it was Shaw got back. Comes across. Was there a push? It comes across. Good save by Morgan. Well, there are claims again for a penalty. Was Ayene pushed? I think he went to ground a little bit too easily. It will be, though, a corner to Wanneroo. James Morgan forced to make a really good save. James Morgan, of course, who was the state goalkeeper of the year in 2005, shared that award with Ryan Montgomery of Subiaco. Oh, no one else can understand. I'm sorry, but there's always one idiot who goes up to the microphone. Picking up our effects microphone. Ball played deep, headed back across the area. Chivel keeps it alive. Now it's Franken. Franken trying to dink a ball over the top, but Ayene is never going to win. That's handball by Vitilia. No way. So another free kick to Wanneroo City. They've certainly got their tails up at the moment. They just need a goal. Play to the back post. The head is there, but it goes over the crossbar. Corner given, though. So the last touch coming off a Sorrento head. Racing over to take it is Joel Gillespie. 66 minutes gone. Still plenty of time left. Siddle again, deep at the back post. He's got the captain's armband. Comes in again, it's Kilkelly with the header. Kilkelly hits the dirt. He's helped up, fell awkwardly. Vitilia with Chivel. And it's gonna be a Sorrento throw. So the player down behind play. Or Sorrento, just trying to see who that is. It's not Kilkelly. There's another player. Just went down awkwardly in the challenge. There was a melee of players all going up for the header. And just one got two players land on top. It's Jacob Short just going off now. He's back on his feet, so that's good to see. No magic sponge these days. The test's a little bit more thorough but it will be a Sorrento throw-in. Wanneroo just hoping to stay inside Sorrento's half now. Both teams sitting second in their respective leagues at the moment. Gillespie fires a shot from long range. It was ambitious and it was also off target. 
Wanneroo yet to lose a game at home. They've played three, one, two, drawn one. That draw coming against Gwalup Croatia, who will be in action tomorrow against Bayswater City. And if we look at Sorrento on the road, they've played seven, one, four, drawn two, lost one. Lost to Florida Athena just two weeks ago, 2-1. Uh, Sorrento at the moment have got one foot in the semi-final of the State Cup and the seventh round of the FFA Cup. There's a little bit more urgency coming into the game now. Chivel under pressure from Biles, but Biles doing well and winning possession back for Sorrento. Now it's Morgan, scored the opening goal. Hill back to Biles, now it's back to McDonald. Pressure will be applied by Johnston. He now comes in and it goes all the way back to James Morgan. Kilkelly pulls wide, but Scott Bullock was the target. Flicked on by Cannon. That's a good head of Vitilia. Bullock's run inside him. Vitilia inside the penalty area. Defender ahead of him. Clips it over to the back post. Header laid back. What a header it was. And Bullock over the crossbar. Well, what a header that was by Morgan. Just to nod it down. The awareness was superb, but Cannon laid it back to Bullock and he put it over the crossbar. Surely Scott Bullock is not taking mercy on his former club. Just over 20 minutes remaining. Can Wanneroo find a goal? They've been denied a clear penalty and they've had a goal disallowed for an alleged push in the back. Stuart Siddle thought they'd equalised. And then within a minute, it was Reese Vitilia who beat Joey Smith to give Sorrento a 2-0 lead. Hill goes back to McDonald. James Morgan has only had really one save to make in the whole game where he had to parry a shot over the crossbar. Headed forward. Chivel. The substitute in the midfield. Siddle, the man, denied a goal. Ball forward and it's McDonald. Well, that was a strange challenge coming from Siddle. He gets the ball now, but he's played it straight into the path of Vitilia. Smith comes out. Brilliant save by the Wanneroo keeper. Off his line really quickly. And Vitilia thwarted. Uh, Joey Smith is making a name for himself here at Wanneroo. He was released by Kingsway Olympic. He's short on stature but big on heart. Taking his time to get to the corner for the corner is Tim Hill. And Sorrento have everybody bar three players forward as they look to make it three. The referee finally telling Hill to get a move on. You'd think he was going uphill the amount of time it took him to get there. Headed clear by Scott Johnston. We'll come back to Hill though. He'll clips a left foot ball in. Hailstones will collect. He's not done particularly well bringing that under control. He might get it back. Good strength shown by Canham. And it's given away cheaply by Brad McDonald. Chivel. Plays it out wide now for Wanneroo. They've got numbers going forward. They just need to keep possession. And it's cleared easily by Hill. Headed forward. Hailstones, will he get there? No, Bullock still plenty of life in the aging legs. AN8 looking to feed Johnston. Johnston's touch is a heavy one, but he'll still have possession. Looks to get the better of McDonald. Just leans into McDonald, the rangy Scott Johnson. Comes across the goal and Ayane didn't get the touch he needed under pressure from Steve McDonald. And it, nobody was at the back post. And now Sorrento looked to counter-attack. Ball though comes to Kai Douglas, goes back to his keeper. Cannon was looking to close him down. End-to-end -end stuff here as the rain starts to slow and the sun tries to creep through the clouds. Siddle just puts it up in the air. Vitilia 
wins it in the air. Siddle gets across and clears as Smith came off his line. But Jacob Shaw nods it back into the danger area. Vitilia, light feet, curling shot. Great save again from Smith to deny Hill at the top of the area. That's a clever shot through a crowded area by Tim Hill. Just curl it into the bottom corner, but Smith doing really well to get down low. Kill Kelly just clipping it forward to Bullock. Bullock infield to Hill, continues his run. Hill needs to slip it, he does. Bullock looks to square, but good defensive play coming from Douglas. And it will be a corner and a substitution for Sorrento. And it looks as if Daryl Platten is the player coming on for Sorrento. Just waiting to see, I think, which player is coming off. And in fact, it looks as if a goal kick has been given. So it's Scott Bullock, the player, going off. So no goals for Scott Bullock on his return to Wanneroo. And then Miteko Ayeni looks as if he'll be making way as well. The man that was born in Ethiopia, grew up in Kenya and lives in Australia. He says he is a nomad and his people are of a nomadic, nomadic tradition. Also going off for Wanneroo is Joel Gillespie. So two changes for them. Trying to see which players have come on from their substitutes. One of them is John McNeil wearing number 10. Oh, was that off the hand of Jacob Shaw? There were appeals from the fans for it. And certainly looked as if Morgan was pulling down Matt Franken. And the referee agrees. Chivel. And that's a poor pass from him. And good work from Brad McDonald. Now Hill with space in the midfield, plays it out wide to Vitilia, who's never been renowned for his pace, but he keeps it in play. Shaw into the penalty area, plays it across, it's cleared by Siddle, but only as far as McDonald. Comes back to Vitilia. Shaw's offside. Vitilia plays it to the back press, in fact, he plays it into Hailstones and gets a corner. So more pressure now for Wanneroo City. Has the life gone out of them? Just confirmation of the other substitute for them. It's Flynn Nolan, the player coming on. Ball played deep, headed away. Flynn Nolan, whose nickname is Whippet. So expect to see him, if he gets the ball, to show a bit of pace. Play to the back post, headed clear. It'll be brought down by Alex Morgan. He was put under immense pressure from Flynn Nolan. And now it is Wanneroo on the attack. Nolan just jumps over the ball. Now it's played into his path. Oh, there's a foul behind play, and it's going to be played out over the goal line for another corner to Wanneroo. So 76 minutes gone. Is this the moment that Wanneroo... Managed to get a goal and give themselves a bit of hope. Time is beginning to become their enemy. Everybody, bar three players, inside the penalty area. It's a good curling ball. Header from Chibble was not bad. Cleared, though, by Sorrento. Still alive as Franken just clips it forward. Headed out again by Sorrento. Platten, long way forward. Chibble looking to help it forward again. And then Douglas is the player penalised and the fans don't like it. Well, a lot of people feeling maybe that was one of last chance. I think there's still plenty to be played in this game. They can get it back to 2-1, they say. 2-0 is the most dangerous score in football. Just needs that ounce of luck, and they didn't have that around the hour mark where two decisions went against them. 
The first were claims for a penalty when it looked a definite handball by Steve McDonald, who was on a yellow card. So he may well have ended up then with a second yellow as James Morgan has to scurry and clear it as running through was John McNeil. Another hard challenge coming in. I think it was Sam Biles. It was a yellow card has been issued. It was indeed Biles who picked up the yellow card. The former Southampton Solent University player. Also, as I mentioned, was part of the Arsenal Academy and had a spell playing in the USA. So Wanneroo throwing numbers forward. Franken sits in the midfield. Chibble over the ball. Siddle, the man who had a goal denied when he thought he'd scored for a push, just waits at the centre at the top of the circle. Ball comes in. Siddle, I think, got the touch, the last touch, and it went a long, long way wide. He would have seen it very late and just couldn't direct his header towards goal. Stuart Siddle, who came through Rollins College in Florida, recognised as the ranked, well, it's one of the oldest colleges in Florida, and it's ranked as one of America's best colleges. James Morgan taking his time. Wiley campaigner, the man from Hereford. Of course, Hereford, part of English FA Cup history. If you've never seen that, just Google it and you will find a memorable goal celebration on a mud paddock when they took a major scalp. Pressure applied by Canham goes back to Joey Smith. Smith is under pressure. Smith's clearance is not the best. Hailstones, though, picks up well. Knocks the ball past Biles, and that was confidence from the youngster. Certainly, Jack Hailstones has shown what he can do in this match. Probably Wanneroo have just needed to see a little bit more from him. He's just been in and out of the game as the ball now comes to Vitilia. Vitilia cuts infield, looks to play the ball forward. It's a good ball to Sam Biles. He lays it back at the top of the penalty area, but it'll be cleared. And now it's going to be a foot race. McDonald, no, yes, it was McDonald got there and cleared it first. And that's a great pass by Tim Hill, wide on to the right-hand side. Morgan, the header is a deflected away from Kai Douglas, who's been heading everything. Now it's Scott Johnston. He's got a player inside him. Johnston tries to get the shot away, ricochets off Jacob Shaw's boot. Still alive, though, as Hailstons tries one, but it goes straight into the midriff of James Morgan. Platten now with pace, space rather, and not enough pace to keep the ball in play. Flynn Nolan, and he was trying to play it out to Franken, miscommunication. So Sorrento throwing, as we're in the final nine minutes of this FFA Cup sixth round match, quarterfinal of the Western Australian State Cup. Wanneroo, who have never won the cup, will find themselves again. It looks as if they will not be heading any further this time around, but they are a club on the rise. Second at the moment in Division Two of the State League. Three years ago, they were virtually bankrupt. So this is all good stuff for Wanneroo as the ball rolls through to Joey Smith. And once again, we'd like to thank their sponsor of this live stream surge fitness here to make a difference change lives and build better communities get your guest pass online at surgefitness.com.au well was that a foul the referee says it is as franken shot and put it in the goal but morgan would have saved that i'm sure james morgan would have easily gathered that ball had the whistle not already sounded well can Wanneroo score now and give us a grandstand finish? If they manage to get an equaliser, it would take us into extra time, but they've got to get the first goal to even make the equaliser a likely proposition. Again, they've thrown bodies forward. Sorrento just have Reese Vitilia forward should they want a counter-attack. 
It's fired in, saved by Morgan was a good one. Diving to his right at full stretch, it's now with Platten. Platten looks up and plays it into the path of Alex Morgan. It's been missed at the back, that's a terrible mistake by Cutting. Morgan, who opened the scoring, will square it. And was that off the hands of Franken? The referee's assistant says no, it will be a throw-in. Well, Franken was brave, sliding in. Whether it caught his arm, it certainly hit his chest. Whether it was arm, chest, or chest, arm, we'll never know. Ricochet's out of play. Platten looking to try and play the cross in, and it's Chivel combining with Siddle. And Siddle just playing safety over the side. His shoulders just sinking a little bit when he was forced to play that under pressure. Now it's Tim Hill. Hill looking to create some space. Chivel, though, just got the touch he needed. And it gets to Nolan, but Nolan plays it off the Sorrento player, so it'll be a Wanneroo ball. The coach quick to grab it. His players are not as desperate as he is. Tim Cantor would so love to get a victory today for Wanneroo City. And it's been left and let bounce and strong challenge coming in again from Sean Kilkelly who hasn't put a foot wrong today. Sean Kilkelly who many years ago was part of the future glory youth when Frank Arrock was the coach. Father of course, former Derby County player Tom Kilkelly. He was signed, I think, by Brian Clough, if I remember rightly. On a route as Franken drills it. Full stretch, Morgan saves, and it goes out for a corner. That was a great shot by Franken, arrowing into the bottom corner, but Morgan showing that you have to concentrate as a goalkeeper for 90 minutes because that was a top class save. So Morgan has been called into action a few times late in the second half. It's a low corner. Cleared with ease. Vitilia just a touch, and that's a terrible challenge. And Franken will get a card, and he knows it. So almost from hero to zero, Franken. Great shot by Matt Franken, and then a dreadful challenge. I think Vitilliot knew it was coming and was getting ready for it. Certainly, Reese Vitilliot has been around the block enough to know when those challenges are coming. Had an aborted spell in Italy where he couldn't get the paperwork sorted out to play in the fourth division, as we see going off Jacob Shaw for Sorrento. Jacob Shaw, who's had a busy afternoon in the left-back role. And he's being replaced by, I think it's Jordan Brown. It's in fact Josh Tucker. And Vitilia picks up, tries a shot, bounces in front of Smith. But he claims it. Sometimes on a wet surface, those are the tricky ones. We're in the final four minutes. Wanneroo, can they get a consolation goal? Kilkelly again, strong in the air, nods it back to McDonald. He's given it back to Morgan, who was put under pressure by Johnston. But his clearance is a good one. Canham, good body strength again. Shows so much experience. And Vitilia, well, he looked to show and then go. Fate that he was going to get the ball under control and then spun, but there was just not enough pitch left for him to turn into. Hailstones looks to run forward again for Wanneroo. Just helped over the side by Josh Tucker. Brett Cutting. Throw from him. Comes back. Wanneroo. Under pressure from Vitilia. And Kai Douglas now finds himself under a bit of pressure. Canham working hard in these final minutes of this FFA, FFA Cup sixth round match. And that's gone out of play. And a little bit of frustration on the face of Kai Douglas. Just tired legs and Sorrento not in any hurry to get on with play and who can blame them? 2-0 to the good. They look as if they booked themselves a place in the seventh round. 
and in the semi-finals of the State Cup in Western Australia. Now it's Hailstones. Oh, we're going to see one last burst from him. It's a good pass forward to Johnston. Kilkelly comes across, doesn't dive in. Johnston almost put it out of play. In fact, he did put it out of play. So a good little shimmy from Kilkelly, just throwing Johnston off his pace. And again, Morgan will kill time. He takes plenty of time, almost like a rugby union goal kicker. The precision at which he paces the ball and how long he walks back before he belts the ball up the pitch. Franken nods it out of play. Platten quickly chasing it. Morgan had his back face, so it was Tim Hill and Siddle's got his arm on the shoulder of Hill. Franken goes to ground, plays it into the legs of Platten. Always risky going to ground, but it paid dividends this time. Nolan feeds it infield. Mooney to Hailstones. Hailstones just stopped by McDonald. And Hailstones' ball out wide is not a good one, and it rolls out of play. Just that composure lacking. Canham helped it on after getting the ball from McDonald. Now it's Platt who's going to try and keep that in play and it's not going to succeed. Tim Cantor throws the ball to Franken. Chivel closed down by Hill, goes back to Franken. Help forward, a lovely turn, but who's there to clean up? In fact, a foul given against Biles, I think it was. So Chivel to take it by our clock. We're in the final minute of the match. Of course, there have been a few injuries, so the referee may play a couple of minutes extra for injury time. Headed clear by Alex Morgan. Franken, Franken clips it forward again. McDonald, strong challenge from him. Straight through the back of Siddle. Well, it was Vitilia offside when that ball was played. I think he may have just stayed onside. Vitilia and it's blocked and goes out for a corner off Brett Cutting. Well, our camera was ideally placed. Vitilia certainly was just, well, he either timed it to perfection or was just offside. But according to the officials, he was onside. And once again, we're seeing a very, very slow walk to take this corner. And I wouldn't be surprised if the referee doesn't even consider giving a card for time wasting. Well, Hill taking his time. Headed clear by Chivel to Hadlestones. Johnston still full of running. Good work by Tucker coming across and just nodding the ball out of play. We are now in time added on for injuries Johnston has stolen a good three or four meters up the side Hailstones plays a short pass in Johnston has to scurry keeps it in and sliding in and taking his feet and the ball was well, Josh Tucker so it will be a corner for Wanneroo is this their final salvo can they get a consolation goal you have a feeling the whistle will blow not long after this corner is taken Still not throwing everyone forward. Two players sitting on halfway. They're asking the coach if they can go. It was a good jump again from Kilkelly, just putting everyone off, and Platten has to scurry across to the side, and it's gone out of play off the Wanneroo player. Came off John McNeil. And Platten, the experienced campaigner, he's played for the state team, taking his time. Morgan, though, was... Not quite sure what he was trying to do there, but it's gone out of play. So Matt Franken with the throw. Chivel plays it forward. Strong challenges still coming in from Sorrento. Needs to be played forward. Hailstones drops back. Vitilia will close him down. Hailstones luckily gets away with the ball. Cuts infield. Good pass from him, but the ball forward wasn't a good one for Nolan. Sorrento, one last counter-attack from them. 
Cannon plays it forward on the overlap. In the middle is Biles, and Biles, well, what a touch that was from Smith. Just taking it off the head of Biles. I think Biles was almost in celebration mode because all he had to do was direct it into the goal. And Joey Smith got a crucial touch. Well, it's not going to change the outcome of the match, but Smith with a great save to show that the competitive spirit really is strong inside of him and the pride in a goalkeeper not conceding late goals. Biles goes back to McDonald. Nolan looks to apply the pressure as it goes back now to Morgan. Morgan, another good clearance from him. Looking for Canham. Appeals from Wanneroo that it's their ball and the referee's assistant agrees. Nolan bursting through the middle, finds Johnston. Kilkelly, though, is there to take the ball away. Combining well with Sam Biles. And the whistle goes, and that is the end of the match. It is Sorrento from the NPL who will be going through into the seventh round of the FFA Cup and into the semi-final of the State Cup. They open the scoring in the fourth minute through Alex Morgan. It was 1-0 at halftime, and then on the hour mark, Wanneroo City were denied what looked an obvious penalty when the ball hit Steve McDonald's arm. And then a minute later, Stuart Siddle had the ball in the back of the net, but the referee ruled it out for a push in the back of the Sorrento defender. And literally within a minute of that decision, Sorrento broke up the field. Scott Bullock played a first-time pass to Reese Vitilia, and Vitilia made it 2-0 after Joey Smith could only push his shot into the crossbar and it ricocheted down into the back of the net. So Wanneroo City, they fought valiantly, but in the end, Sorrento are the victors. The final score here is Wanneroo City nil, Sorrento 2.